MMB Seed and Agricultural Service Ghana Limited is a Ghanaian private seed company based in the Volta region, capital of Ho in Ghana. They are committed to enhance agricultural productivity. And as usual, Yali is creating great leaders. And great leaders in the agricultural field don't sit in the offices. They go to the farm, they go to the field to get the exact problem and meet people who are also on ground solving realistic problems facing our African country. And here we are at the MNB Seed Production Company. Once again, you are welcome. I'm called Benjamin Konechek. So I'm the CEO of MNB Seed. MNB Seed. You are welcome. Briefly about myself, I'm a farmer. Okay. Yes, the market is a challenge. For quite a there is this added in Ghana that the farm producer itself actually is true because when you have glass, especially when your tomatoes, you have harvested tomatoes and everybody is selling tomatoes, the price will drop. Yeah. At the time, the price is up and you use that to calculate or to make your budgets The, uh, you don't have it. Likewise, other people. That's why the market pretends or the price pretends to be But it's not so. There are a lot of things that must be done to mitigate those problems by an African economy. So I decided to go back. No, no, no. I always say it is this day it was God. Mm-hmm. And you say that you come and so uh, I met a friend who told me about Agra. That they were we were inviting proposals for setting up so a project. So he gave me the link and I said I want to do it. When I was in difficulty, I was trying to figure out how to how to get in. But lo and behold, when I applied, within a week, at that time, that was uh, 2008, 2009, we were not having Android. We were not having you know, communication, you have to go to a phone booth mm-hmm. before you make a phone booth. Uh, networks you have to have okay. go to what do you call it? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, call center. Call center. Mm-hmm. Before the pandemic. So that's how I started. Mm-hmm. But within a week, I had a reply. Mm-hmm. And I was known as your mm-hmm. new proposal. Mm-hmm. I'm not a finance person, so I didn't understand. But I put up my ideas. And finally, the man who is on it, that is a sculpture over there, Dr. Capran, he visited me and he actually encouraged me to stay. So, yes, lo and behold, he did it and then 2009, 10, of wow. 110,000 dollars. Wow. And that is what you are seeing now. So, not all of us. A lot of people had it before me, but you can't see them. Mm-hmm. But because maybe I learned, first I was losing money, and then I was determined to be successful. So, that is how MNB came about. I partnered with somebody from Monica. Uh, she just had an operation on the name. We are, we are aged now. So, she is an empty dealer. So at the time I was uh, in difficulty, I do my things, give it to her, she sells, and we got my friend. Can one button line to you that people are not honest? 
especially if you don't respect our problems. People think some people's attitude towards it is like you have not produced it, you have not used money to produce it. But I bet you a lot of money goes in. Yes. <laughs> so that's how MMB came. So when we formed the MMB and the project started. I realized that it was not a project, but they had a vision. That's, they know that uh, our productivity, farmers' productivity is very low. So I was convinced that if you increase your productivity, your cost of production will come down. Mm -hmm. And whatever happens in the market will still break it. And and looking at it, it's only highly simple. How to do the magic. I, I hope you know what is a hybrid seed. Yes, yes. It is not GM. Unfortunately, you can't go to the floor. So if you were to go to the floor, you'll see how it goes. And I want to make another statement. All the things that you see here, the crossfire will be taken into. It came by solving a problem. It was not free. Most of the things, we, we had a challenge, so we think about it, what do we do? So next time we keep it. So, like I was saying, um, people who agitate, or people are writing that this year now, the youth must go into agriculture. Yes, we are eating. I'll be 70 very soon. So I need somebody to speak up the mantle. But is it lucrative? Yes. It's agriculture and creative. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. 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 Uh, yes, the top man is there, somebody, and then the basic man who goes to the floor to see to you that it is that. Then the second tier supervise the first one, then finally, then the government people also come in. That's so that we have a quality mm -hmm. material. Uh, what is it? So we do our things, we learn what comes from research, it's not may not be too. In your environment, I've been working with four AMUM material for the past three years. It is only this year I was able to produce half a ton of seed. The reason was that that thing was bred in the in Zimbabwe and uh, the cool climate. So when it came here, and we're trying to do irrigation and other things. Sometimes twenty plants, you only get four canals. You got a point. So there were a lot of difficulties, but we were using it to learn more. Mm -hmm. Learn. So we learned about the material, and now we are able to. Mm -hmm. So I'll say that agriculture is sad that you must learn. Mm -hmm. It's a learning process. This year alone, what we've learned is a lot because of the weather. We don't control weather. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have the irrigation. Well, but the heat instead. No. So all those things come <laughs> So as young ones, yes. all I will tell you is that right. once you want to go in, you must be ready to learn. Okay. Yes, sir. It's a heavy day. Once you learn, yes. And I'm happy if young ones begin to farm, you'll be able to change policy. Yes. You'll be able to let things go well. We'll be able to make the markets work. Mm -hmm. If I produce, immediately I produce, somebody picks my product and pays me. I'll continue to work. The banks will see my hobby call it. 
my cash flow. Eh? Uh, uh, cash flow. You can see my cash flow. Uh, say yes. After deep education taught how he started the history, the touching, the challenges, we now took a tour to the farm, seeing the wonderful things he's doing, the wonderful real life problems on the field he is solving. MNBCs are produced through a network of over 100 smallholder outgrowers and sold in a brand packaging through a network of 70 agro dealers spread across Ghana. Why should you even choose MNBCs at the first place? According to them, they are of efficient standard quality to help you increase your farm productivity and give you a growth perfect harvest season. Yes, in Ghana, we can grow our own seeds. So at MNV, they've taken it upon themselves to research to give quality hybrid seeds and open pollinated seed, not GMO. Yes, they have quality seed. Uh either maize, rice, cowpea, or anything. It's take something. Yeah. Then this is the dry. This is the dry uh, First one. Mm -hmm. I will put it on for briefly. I will put it on for briefly. So along the line, you'll be taking samples. So I'll show something you got. Sometimes, this thing, nobody will say, and then I, the temperature might be great. So we can do as much as possible. So we can take sample two days later, and we have lost gem. Then we look at, we open the recorder to see. Then you will find out that there has been a jump. Then you rest, uh, you, you respond and repair. I said this is a point. On the tour, we got to see their machineries for drying. So this is their machinery for keeping the greens dry. They also have an alternative way of drying the greens using a structure like this or direct sunlight. Then they took us to the processing unit where sorting and grading is done, where quality seeds are separated from bad seed, where big seeds are separated from smaller seeds. Yes, this machinery does all the work. Oh yes, agriculture made simple. Tell me why a youth will not venture into agriculture if the machineries are there to make work easier. Yes, we will do the farming. We don't want to do a lot of manpower work. So if the machines are there, trust me, youth are ready to venture into the agribusiness field. So after sorting, grading and everything, it is now package they have a place that they package seeds that are going into the market for consumption and they have a place that they store seed that are going to be used as planting material the seeds are now packaged using this material into various sizes so the seed for growing and also the seed for ready market for consumption this machine is what they use to package grading with the proper measurement the proper quality standard before their produce are released into the market
that uh, we put in the figures. If it is one kilo we want, we put in the one kilo specification. And once we start it, somebody will just be here and we put in the rubber. The sea is stored in a cool room at a certain temperature to protect its viability until they are sold into the market. Yali turning green indeed to gold. Africa. I believe in you. Yali, yali, yali. Yali, yali, yali. Young African leader. Young 